Good morning. Welcome to Start Your Workday Mindfully, a daily Nyappers 15-minute retreat. My name is Ruth Colon Wagner, and today is Tuesday, March 31st, 2020, and I thank you for joining us. Did you know that mindfulness is not a destination? It's a way of being, of thinking, and not a technique. And we can sometimes confuse this because we often engage in exercises to aid us in being in the moment. And the reason I even bring this up is because it's important for us to understand this because there is no magical destination or even a blank space or empty way of being that we're supposed to achieve. Mindfulness aids us in being present in the now. It reduces our rumination over the past and our worries and fears over the future. There's so much stress that comes from worry. Worry over what we did or said yesterday or five minutes ago. Or worry and fear and trepidation over what the future may hold, whether that's in five years from now or in this afternoon's meeting. Our mind is always wandering. Yesterday we said that this is natural. It is, but it's not always healthy. Through mindfulness, we have the ability to find healing and that requires us to do more than follow exercises. It's a way of being, our attitude and approach and commitment. It can't be forced. Believe me, I've tried. So let's experience it and grow together. For now, let's discuss the attitudes we should assume when approaching mindfulness. And according to John Kabat-Zinn, there are seven attitudinal foundations of mindfulness practice. And they are one, non-judging, two, patience, three, having a beginner's mind, four, trust, five, non-striving, six, acceptance, and seven, letting go. Today, I'd like us to review the first of these attitudinal foundations, non-judging. As we work to being in the present moment, it's so easy for us to find our mind wandering. We've mentioned this, but what usually accompanies a wandering mind is self-judgment at a perceived failure at finding our mind going to the past or to the future. We can get upset with our ideas, our opinions, likes and dislikes. All this naturally comes forward as we're trying to practice mindfulness. It can almost seem like it comes even more as we're trying to center ourselves. Self-judgment is sometimes so automatic that we don't even realize we've engaged in it. That's why it's so important for us to understand that mindfulness is not a destination and there is no place we need to find our we need to find in our minds. Just by our very nature of observation, observing when our mind has wandered. That's mindfulness. We notice these wanderings and we bring our attention back to the present. Exercises help us with this so that we can focus our minds on the techniques that we're engaging in. And this helps us to experience the current moment. But if, if we remain judgmental and we chastise ourselves for not being able to focus, we miss the entire experience of refocusing. I read a piece by Mark Burton of mindful.org and he says that there is a space that opens up for us when we can sit with our thoughts and sensations and practice observing them without reacting to them. He goes on to describe it as remembering our most horrible and embarrassing moment, but being able to, with time, appreciate our pangs of regret. 
Don't rush the experience. Don't judge yourself. It's all okay. Notice your wandering mind and realize this is normal and bring your focus back. In time, this will get easier. So let's experience together a mindfulness exercise that will, will help us sit with ourselves non-judgmentally. And it's easier for us to begin practicing without judgment when we use guided imagery. This is because, at least for me, it allows me to imagine a space created by somebody else. That in turn reduces my self-judgment because someone is placing the images in my mind allowing me to easily join in for the ride. When my mind wanders, someone is guiding me back. And this places me in a space to become used to the experience of refocusing and being in the present. I believe the more that we can engage in exercises that reduce our self-judgment, the more we can be aware of this in the future as we engage in other kinds of mindfulness exercises. So let's begin. Today's exercise, a guided imagery, will use the beach as a place for us to focus. If you are not comfortable with beach scenes, please skip this exercise. None of us should ever engage in exercises that make us feel discomfort, fear, or reliving any bad memories. Take a moment to find a comfortable seated position. Sit back into your chair. Your feet on the floor when possible. And release tension from your thighs, your arms, shoulders, and neck. Close your eyes if you feel comfortable. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Fill your lungs with air and let it go through your mouth. Feel the tension slip away from you, falling away like rain into the ground. This is your time. Continue breathing with intention. Again, keep your body relaxed and breathe. Again, imagine a beautiful and serene beach scene, either from memory or from pictures. The sky is clear and it's a beautiful shade of blue. There's not a cloud in the sky, just blue sky as far as your eye can see. You're standing on the sand and your feet sink a little as if the sand were caressing your feet. Wiggle your toes and feel the heat from the warm sand enter your body, slowly progressing up your body. Feel the warmth Soothe your, soothe your muscles and melting your stress away. You notice the sounds around you. They're distant at first, but somehow so clear. You hear the seagulls flying in the sky, squawking above the beach as if trying to catch your attention. They're beautiful with their outstretched wings so brilliantly white against the amazing blue sky. You notice the joyous sounds of children in the distance paddling in the waves. Distant radios playing music. All of it the wonderful sounds of happy people. Enjoy the scene and breathe. 
feel the heat of the sun sink into your skin, warming your heart and mind. The heat melting your tensions and worries away. You walk further towards the ocean, water jewel-toned like a brilliant sapphire gemstone. Your feet encounter wet sand, the earth harder here, and the sand cool. The waves command your attention, and you look out and see them. Hear them, gently coming on shore, soaking your feet, and retreating again. Breathe as you find joy in the rhythmic motions of the ocean, washing upon your feet and leaving again. And again. The water is surprisingly warm, warmed by the noonday sun. Heat from the sun, warmth from the ocean envelop you and there, in this serene experience, you think of gratitude and you feel deep, profound joy. Breathe the happiness in. When ready, slowly open your eyes. Continue to feel the sun's rays on your skin as your mind comes back from our beach. I hope you found this enjoyable. I found it wonderful creating this scene for you. Tomorrow, we'll discuss and practice patience, the second of the foundations of mindfulness practice. As always, I'm very interested in hearing from you. So please share with me your favorite mindfulness exercises and with your permission, I'll use them. Again, my name is Ruth and you can email me at mindfully at niappers.org. Follow us on social media using the hashtag mindfullyniappers, and together we'll spread the word so that all people can begin their day mindfully. Our inspirational quote of the day is from Walt Whitman. Be curious, not judgmental. Thank you, be well, and enjoy your day.